Once upon a time, there was this wonderful, luscious green leaf on a cattleya. Beautiful, strong, healthy green leaf. And then this happened. Very black, very brown, very ominous looking. Scary. Very firm still. So is this black rot? Let me tell you, in this case, no. This is a leaf dying back, aging. So I'm going to turn the pot and I'll show you that it's happening to another leaf from a different cat here. This is my CG Roebling, and this is from a different cat there. But it could be, especially in the winter, mistaken as black rot and oh no, what is happening to my orchid? Is she going downhill? She's not. If you're seeing this in your orchids and on your leaves, she is not going downhill, especially if you can see that she is darkening and yellowing across the entire leaf and beginning to callus over right at the pseudobulb. That is the important factor. That is the difference where you can say this leaf is dying back because of age and it starts a little bit more yellowy like this one. It takes a long time. It's a slow process, but the orchid is absorbing the energy from that leaf as it dies back. So don't cut it off. Give it time to naturally callus over right at the pseudobulb. So let's see if it just pops off. It does. Perfect timing. The callus is completely dry. There is no way any infection will go in there because it came off super easy of its own accord. So what I want to show you here, this is sunburn. Not to be confused with this. Luckily on an old leaf. The yellowing here is dry. It is not squishy. There is no bacterial infection. There's nothing oozing out of here if I rip it. This is all old leaf, okay? Not to be confused with black rot, not to get into any panic about. So thank you very much for joining me. I have a few examples I just wanted to show you, especially in winter. I am super, super cautious about what my orchids are doing. I'm always very, very careful and scared about any kind of changes. For me, the winters are a little bit of a troublesome period, especially with regards to foliage, high humidity, cooler temperatures, and I am growing in LECA and self-watering, which cools everything down even further inside the pot. But I have another example to show you. Crestwood Tomorrow Star, once upon a time, there was a gorgeous, luscious green leaf. We know the story. And when we look down on the apex, we still have gorgeous, luscious green leaves because this orchid holds on to the green leaves for a long time. So any damage incurred on the top leaves will stay there for many, many years to come. But what is of interest is down here, and I want to show you a luscious green leaf. Even though it is old, let's make that too. There is no dying back as we just saw on the cattleya. So what's going on here? Well, the leaf joints had calloused over. So they came off relatively easy. No headaches, no issues. But what is the orchid doing? There are no pests. I double checked and I would tell you that pests will do this as well, but not as clean as what you see on my leaves. But can you see what the roots are doing to the leaves as they grow? Look at how the roots pierce through the leaves, literally stabbing the membrane of the leaves and severing the nutrient supply right through the leaf. 
sometimes here on the side, you can see, sometimes right through the middle. And it can happen that the leaf is getting pierced twice. Although in this case, I'm getting it on this leaf here and on this leaf right here. It can happen that if the orchid is very, very vigorous in the growth of the roots, as you can see down here, that the leaf can get pierced twice. And that is cutting off supply to the rest of the leaf. And the leaf will just die back right at the apex, still stay green, as the characteristics of these leaves are. They maintain their color really, really well for a long period of time, even though they're dying back. I could have left the leaves on, especially in this case, I could have left the leaves on because they were dry and doing their thing. But again, it's winter. And I'm not going to perpetuate a problem by having somewhat dangling leaves on my Angraecum Presswood Tomorrow Star. Everything is dry around the base. Everything is okay. But why perpetuate a possible problem if they come off really easily? And this one? will be next. But right now, it's not coming off as easily, so there's still something going on, and I'm leaving it as it is. But I wanted to show you the difference between what a root will do in order to impede the growth of a leaf, or maintaining a bottom leaf, as opposed to what an insect would do. This is my Epidendrum multiforme, crossed with Capricorn Nu, and just to show you, leaf is dying back. I don't have enough humidity even in the winter for this orchid. So I eventually have only a few leaves at the top of the growth. This is the old growth. And here a leaf is dying back. And on this occasion is when I go in and nick it off. Even though it is still a bit yellow, it was on the drier side and I take it off. Sometimes older leaves can attract a certain kind of pest and I'm not having any part of that, so I take it off. But never mind, that is the course of how orchids go and grow. Their older leaves die back on their older growths, but the next ones are coming right up behind it, already doing something exotically strange which it did last year as well. And it came out two growths out of one single growth, as you can see there. And it's forming a Y based on the light and where it's looking for the most light in order to grow. So last year, I didn't manage to pull off growing the two growths at the same time out of one single eye that developed. This year, it's looking promising. The quick thing about the leaves, if you're finding several similar circumstances, give you my rundown of what the leaves are doing because they are telling you a story and how you can possibly intervene. None of these leaves had any issues except for age. And look at that gorgeous, gorgeous little Brassavola cordata in the back there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. More on that in another video. <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for taking the time to watch. Really appreciate having you here. Stay safe and take care. Bye.